Welcome to The Wine Chemist. In this series, we'll be breaking down the elements of wine, and in this episode, we're focusing on tannins. We are breaking out the big guns, spotlight on Cabernet Sauvignon. Tannins are polyphenolic molecules that are found in many plants. In wine grapes, they are found in the skin, stems, and seeds. In making red wine, we allow skin contact during fermentation to pull tannins and pigment out of the skin and into the wine. Tannins are astringent, and in our mouth, they cause a dry and puckering feeling. Do not confuse this with acid. Acid makes you salivate. Tannins dry you out. This is often interpreted as bitter. Some people do not enjoy the effect of tannins, but like most unpleasant trees, this is probably based on an unfortunate childhood memory. Remember when someone first handed you jelly beans? They were colorful and sweet and filled with fruity juices. Then someone gave you a dark purple one. Your brain expected sweet grapes. Instead, you got bitter and dry. Most likely, you've carried that resentment with you to adulthood and now project this anger towards tannins. This stops now. Tannins are important in red wine. They add complexity and ageability. Tannins allow the aromas and fruit to be elevated and the body and finish to be fuller and longer. They slow down and prevent the oxidation of alcohol, aromatics, and flavors in the wine. Tannins do this through chemistry. There are a handful of different tannins in grape skin. They start out as monomers or single units. But over time, and when oxygen sneaks in, they polymerize or chain up. This allows the other delicate molecules in the wine to age without harm. Tannins love to chain up with each other, but their favorite thing to do is attack proteins and amino acids found in abundance in your mouth. A big sip of red wine goes straight for your saliva and locks onto your salivary glands. This is the astringent drying effect. There are two factors concerning tannins that we want to consider when pairing red wines with food. First is the level or amount. Base your wine choice on the amount of fat and protein in your food. For fattier foods, choose a high tannin wine. Remember, tannins go after protein and amino acids. Fatty foods will coat your mouth for those tannins to go after. Otherwise, they attack you. At the same time, those tannins are resetting your palate so that the next bite of food is as flavorful as the first. The second factor is the size and structure of the tannins. Small or singular tannins easily attack proteins. They are aggressive and harsh while long polymeric chains of tannins are big and bulky and have a harder time. As wine ages, those chains become longer. We call this the softening of tannins. Keep this in mind when pairing. Eating a marbled ribeye? Try a bold Shiraz. Decided on filet mignon? How about an aged Barolo? An important thing to remember is that not all varietals have the same levels of tannins. Some have low levels of tannins in their skin, and thus less in their resulting wines. Others have an abundance of tannins to make big and full reds, such as Cabernet Sauvignon. Cabernet Sauvignon is among the many varietals that are known to have the highest level of tannins. However, a lot of lower quality mass-produced wines hide those tannins and block the levels of astringency by keeping residual sugar in their wines. This allows them to market sooner without aging. That is the difference between a balanced, complex, structured Cabernet and a fruit-forward porch pounder. Here's another food pairing trick to test that cab. Take a sip of your cab. Now take a bite of dark chocolate. The chocolate will oversaturate your sense of dry. Now go back and take another sip of that cab. Is it fruitier? Smoother? Rounder? More fruit driven than before? As the tannins are blocked, these characteristics become more predominant. In this episode, we learned that tannins are molecules in red wine that have a drying and astringent effect. Tannins protect the other delicate components in wine during aging and amplify flavors and they soften with age as they link to form chains. 
when food pairing with red wine. The higher the level of fat and protein in your food, the more tannins we want in the wine. The leaner the cut, the older the vintage. Finally, we learned that Cabernet Sauvignon is one of many varietals having high levels of tannins. And we know that there are different styles of Cab. And your homework is to grab some dark chocolate and explore Cabernet Sauvignon. Until the next time on The Wine Chemist, here's to experimenting with wine. Cheers. Mm.